This is Joseph Barone of A Fool for Learning, and our foolish thought for today is don't ghost a candidate. It is really unprofessional. A good friend of mine has been applying for jobs for the last few months, and he's made it through the screening process a number of times and has even made it through two first interviews. In both in instances when he's received these interviews, the person conducting state, conducted them stated that they would get back to him within a week as to whether he made it to the next step, i.e. the second interview. In one instance, my friend contacted the organization a little over a week since the very first interview, only to hear nothing. Approximately two weeks after that interview, and a week after he contacted them of a follow-up, the job had been reposted. He had been ghosted. In another instance, eight days after his first interview, he had not heard anything from the organization, but noticed that the job advertisement had been reposted. So my friend contacted the HR department regarding the, the status of the second step, as well as the reason for the reposting of the job. The organization, literally within 30 minutes, replied that they appreciated his time, but had decided to move on to another candidate. No mention of the reposting of the advertisement. Not only had he been ghosted, but he had been lied to. If you are an organization hiring, it is so important to keep those with whom you have interviewed, even if it's just a screening call, updated as to their status. Don't ghost or ignore them. It is really unprofessional. Remember, some of those who have applied are unemployed and really need a job. By not ghosting them, by getting back to them, it will let them know if they should turn down another opportunity or even to try to continue their job search. Remember, one day, you may be in the situation where you are looking for a job, and I know you would not want to be ghosted. Hopefully, I have given you something to think about. If you learned something from this podcast episode, please take a moment to like or to comment. To learn more about A Fool for Learning and how I can assist you and your organization with an appropriate learning solution to meet your business needs, please visit my website at a fool for learning.com. This is Joseph Barone, the CEO of A Fool for Learning, signing out. Remember, learn, perform, succeed.